Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic time with your friends and family throughout your Easter holiday season. Of course, you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, you guys still enjoy your Saturday. We are here on Sunday already, Dawn, in Australia. And tomorrow, we're going to have another day off. So, uh, great time. Great time to look at your watches and look at what things you want to do with it. And of course, uh, hope you have been more time uh, with your watches over the last couple of days. Okay, Of course, maybe change your bracelets, get them, all, get them all clean up, uh, changing straps. Um, wearing some of the pieces you, you just have a hard time uh, because of your you know working environment and maybe even perhaps you start looking at uh, watch forms because you have more time on your hands uh, buying the watch you wanted to buy or negotiate with the seller with the pieces you always had in mind of course if you've done that hope you had a pleasant journey and um, hope you're doing really well okay so guys without the way uh, very uh, light topic today I just want to bring a couple watches that out it's, this topic has been my, on my mind for a little while now and I think it's just a great day to show it okay guys as, as we know uh, part of the reason why we have a passion uh, towards some of the iconic Seiko designs vintage or a modern lineup of course we'll talk about new ones still based on the old spirit is because of their um, designs that classic um, timeless and at the same time uh, functional and uh, uh, comfortable on your wrist okay of course one of the designs that we all love uh, of course they're not not they're not exclusive to Seiko's uh, of course many other brands um, back in the day still making it right we're talking about dark side as far as I know but a cushion shell designs of um, uh, classics we know turtles and uh, if we're being spent in the hobby for a little longer than we know, uh, then we get sucked into the hobby, right? As myself, I bought the Turtle SRP reissues first, actually, but then you, the XKX sucked me in, all right? But the XKX, you know what? They is still a cushion shell design, all right? You guys been following me for a while, you know. Uh, fortunately, thank God, um, I was very lucky to score this beautiful 1982 Seiko 754A7000 uh, course movements. Really, who this guy is? This guy is the grandfather of the SKX, right? So uh, many uh, collectors like, like myself, new to hobby, we thought the SKX was uh, based on the original design of itself, and there's nothing wrong about it. But the truth to be told, uh, so this one start manufacturing in 1996. The 754 started their lifespan in the late 1970s. So there's almost 30 years in between them. There has been a couple watches. I think one of the 7C, a quartz movement. The other one is 7002. Uh, between those two guys. But again, classic watches. Uh, the quartz movement here, it is so underrated. It opened a brand new chapter for me. Um, it gave me a lot better understanding of the SKX, of course. But in the same time... And very certain that in the future, long term, the Quartz 7548 uh, Vintage will be uh, desired um, a lot more than what they are now. It is already very big collectible in the community, but I think uh, the room uh, for this piece to grow uh, has a lot more to go in the future. Of course, they all sharing the beautiful cushion shell designs. Uh, the SKX, we'll talk about Turtle here. And, of course, we know one of the... Um, very successfully, I guess, part of the Seagulls' um, strategic plan uh, back two, three years ago is to release um, the uh, Willard, of course, based on the 6105. In the, you know, between a thousand to thousand five hundred, depends on the variant, depends on whether the watch is coming with the strap or the bracelet. This is on the a strap called 20 millimeter uh, Super J. This is the Jubilee bracelet. Very beautiful watch, right? But again. Even though this is not, of course, this is not a this is not a vintage. Uh, this is a vintage watch, right? So, and I, whether, I'm not sure whether you can call the SKX. Is of course this is sort of in the late production, I believe. But I've seen many SKX in their early 2000s. So for them, this is almost 20 years. So what's the um, how many years a watch it has to spend on this planet to call them a vintage piece? I don't know, but um, I surely enjoyed all of them. Okay, so guys, we know we'll talk about designs here, um, and we'll talk about cushion shell design. Which one to get? Uh, which one to buy? Now, um, my short answer to that question is: uh, work hard, uh, save money, uh, 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 be very disciplined with what you spend, and you should really buy them all, guys. I'm just telling the truth. Okay, there's um, even though those watches are manufactured in different 
uh, in, in, in sort of different period of time, right? Uh, 2000, um, 2015 ish, starting from there, so almost 10 years ago, actually, these watches, right? Sort of eight years ago and three, four years ago, uh, represent a whole new different strategy for say goes with their um, direction on the marketplaces. But of course, my answer is to buy them all because I really believe there's no point of uh, selecting one of them and saying, I'm buying this one because this is better. Uh, I'm buying SKX because they're not making SKX anymore and they should retain their value well so I'm not spending on those turtle and the withered or I can't have a non-hacking movement I love the 6306, 6309 I don't like the SKX that 7S movement I'm choosing a 4R reliable and you know what it's very still affordable but in the topic of affordable I actually believe this SRP 777 is going to repeat what the um, the SKX007 uh, has done uh, when it's discontinued. There's no shadow of a doubt about this piece. Or we'll have some other collectors saying out there, guys, what are you talking about? Every single micro brand is out there is using Sapphire Crystal and the beautiful Seraphine Bezel. We can't buy those two without any of those higher spec. We're we'll talking about Crystal and Bezel. At least we're going to spend about $1,000 on one of those brand new Willards. Of course, the better movement, this is a 6 eye movement. Uh, and we should then call it a day because again, there were classic Seiko uh, cushion shell designs back in you know the late 60s, the 6105. Of course, we're not talking about this vintage guy here, right? We just simply have you here because we love you spending time with you. But that's the wrong answer. That's really not as the truth of it. It's because when a grand is great and as reputable uh, as inspiring a Seiko, they're not making those products even at the same time period for you to choose they make them simply they cared about your collection they're making it so they make sure that you can work hard save enough money and buy them all that's right you should really sh you really should buy them all don't leave every single one of them on the table uh, because when the turtles discontinued you'd be spending Seven, eight hundred bucks just to get one of those. I can guarantee that is the case. I can, if they discontinue the SRP way issues altogether, this watch will be a thousand more dollar watches tomorrow. Okay, and Willer's great, so get them all. And if you're saying Felix, I don't have enough money right now, which one should I buy first? Then I will recommend to grab uh, to uh, stay focused, find a mint condition uh, SKX first. Between three to four hundred dollars, make sure you want to get the one with the paper in the box. I think that's the way to be. Of course, I have on the OEM uh, Jingly Jangly bracelet, which I talked about in the previous video, which I believe it is the best piece of uh, bracelets ever there can be for SKXs. Actually, bought another exactly the same OEM bracelet for the 745A, so cannot have, uh, cannot wait to have that on, on my vintage uh, 754A. So you should definitely grab an SKX for it because it is getting rarer. Right, so from a new stock perspective, you're looking at seven, eight, nine hundred dollars, which I don't think you should spend. Of course, if you choose to do so, um, I will applaud for you the effort. I think that would be great if you look after the watch, and that is going to be your watch from brand new condition. And this is truly the people's. How should I, I should give a new name? The people's Submariner. That's what it is. It is one of the most iconic dive watches, on the same part as. Um, a Rolex sub. It, uh, this we really shouldn't treat them different in terms of price uh, perspective, but really is what the watch and design has achieved among people, right? It's 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 been chosen and it's been loved and it will be continue to be loved. And after the SKX, I think the second the second turtle shall design that you should look for is the SRP. Is get one of the seven seven seven. If you can get one of the JDM version. This is not a JDM version. This is. Um, this doesn't have the kanji they will. I'll just show you right now. This one. Uh, first thing I should do is get my hourly hands at 6.30 before I change the day. But as you guys see, it's getting windy here, guys. Um, so this one has the Arabic. Uh, so not the not the kanji date wheel. Right? So if you can get SBDY, which I think will be extremely hard to get. But second um, on the line, you should looking for one of this SRP. 
the triple seven if you can get a J version that'd be great I believe the current model line is SRP 93 so if you guys in US I think you buy that that will has um, a made in Japan dial hopefully that's the case if you haven't bought this watch uh, please get one of those of course this watch is on the uncle strap uh, super version of Z199 with the milled uh, end link as well as the clasp really doesn't matter what bracelet you throw on it I think it's all looking fantastic okay so get an SKX first get a turtle and the reason why you get a turtle is is because they are still making the winner there's no rush to get winner because they just started three years ago right they will keep making them of course uh, when you talk about this green version they're highly likely they will start producing them to next year perhaps because simply they're making so much and different variation of the wheelers they have to make room for the new improvements on of texture dials of different bezel different color but again of course I believe this green uh, suits the watch the best as far in my home booty of course you can have yours but I just love um, this turtle I uh, sorry excuse me this Willard uh, uh, is olive green bezel and a bit of sun rate uh, color that I think it is simply fantastic okay so so my advice of course uh, is get them all get the SK if you want to talk about which one to get get a get a black SKX first and then uh, move on to the turtle and then add a wither get them all don't leave uh, guys just I'm wearing this beautiful monster today absolutely loving it so I'm just gonna do a wrist shot uh, among three four watches here and then hopefully this video has given you some direct comparison and um, I guess visual between those two different three or four different watches uh, together and hope you sort of enjoy the video so far and you know will help you if you make a decision of choosing which one to buy or which one to buy first as I said I, I really think you should get them all because each one of them is is absolutely classic this is the, of course this is the turtle and then the lastly we have the Willard we'll have the wheeler here look the reason why I didn't talk about dimensions all that in detail and we know right so this is 44 and a half uh, SK turtle is 44 and a half tur uh, SK is 42 and a half this is 42 and a half but you know what I understand that two millimeter represent a, a quite a bit of differences on your wrist but when it comes to the beautiful design of the cushion shell the turtle is really beautiful I don't feel this watch is anything out of balance of course even with um, going back to the history of 6106 6109 they were not small watches okay they're not supposed to be small of course if you want a small version of any of those uh, cushion shells you can get a, a baby turtle you know you can get an SKX um, 013 um, but those are the watches that I love in my collection and I truly believe I'll get to enjoy them uh, in different occasions uh, when I'm feeling uh, sort of having a different mood but it is a beautiful trio of iconic Seikos guys okay now what's out of the way thank you so much for watching I hope again you enjoy this video and content and no doubt I'll speak to you guys really shortly again okay thank you guys so much for support and I'll see you guys very shortly again bye bye guys